Good evening, friendos. It's time for a quest for semi-glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Bow, Path of the Teal Lotus. This is recommended to me by various folks, uh, more than one at any rate. Um, and it looked like a, an action platformer that I think I will enjoy. It's already very stylish, even on the menu screen, which uh, I hope bodes well. Let's take a quick spin through the options just to make sure I've got everything correct here. Um, because we are starting a new game here, uh, standard claims apply. If the audio is weird or out of balance or whatever, please tell me and I'll fix it as best I can. And also, since this is a new game, relatively new game, and one I'm playing for the first time, um, no spoilers and no backseating, please. Um, let me figure this stuff out on my own. It looks like we're all good on options, so let's go ahead and play. Let's we'll start the game and see what we've got here. Can you get an intro cutscene? Oh, yes, yeah, so we are. Ah, oh, that's very stylish. I like it. Let's see what the time is to title drop here. Well, there is a lotus, and it is definitely teal. So that uh, does that count? <laughs> does that count as a title drop? Oh, I see. So I presume we are literally going to be the Teal Lotus, huh? Hmm. Very good. Shifting tier of moon where bamboo of crimson loom, the Teal Lotus blooms. Is that a... that's a haiku, isn't it? 575, right? Yeah. Alright, getting into it right away. Really leaning into the style. Ooh, this is very pretty. Hmm. Okay. All right, quick controls check here. Uh, move. Got to jump. X is nothing. Y is nothing. B is nothing for now. Uh, triggers are nothing. Bumpers are nothing. Oh, select is a map. They give us a map right away. That's nice. I like that. Oh, plus we've got a whole bunch of other things. Um, but a dearth of information, clearly, since we just started. That's good. Um, bumpers are nothing. Start is probably pause, yep. And that's it. Oh okay. god, very good. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see ya. Oh, well, something catches my eye to the left here. And he normally he's supposed to go to the right, yeah? Okay, hey, look at this. Oh, we can't go any further, because all we can do is jump. That's cool. Do a little, like, forward roll on me. Land and keep moving, huh? Nice touch. Alright, okay, tutorial zone, right? Press A to jump. Gee, wow. Whew. I don't know if we would have figured that out. A to jump higher, yeah, okay. Pretty standard uh, platformer stuff. And uh, then shrines to save and heal. Okay. That's cool. That's a good enemy. Just kind of sit, have some tea. I mean, I can get behind that. Hmm. Ah, very good. Oh, okay. And pointy bamboo, I'm guessing, is bad, so let's not touch the pointy bamboo. Oh, okay. Got platforms that uh, fall away if we stand on them, right? Yeah, okay. Get it. Can't get up there just yet, can we? Okay, that's fine. Sure, eventually that will be important, and or we'll be able to do such a thing. Okay. Let's say that temple in the background is on fire, but that's flowing down from the sky and not up, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, this stuff's on fire, though. Oh, and we got a literal camp. Literal campfire. Oh, and a... It's like a fox spirit, I guess? Sahi. Ugh. <laughs> here. Let's say I've been so far unimpressed with the Tintai Hana. I scamper about these forests. And it seemed that on this evening, the celestial spit injected from the heavens is especially egregious. Wow. Using a lot of big words here. So incredibly tiny. Oh, hey, come on. I just, like, bloomed, like, three minutes ago. <laughs> Give me a break. Like for the county evaporates with your every exhalation. I'll be gone. Backers, beast of the bamboo thicket you bumbled out of. Oh, well, that's mean. I'll spare you from an expedited exorcism. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Fucker. Alright, whatever. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Being aware, now there's something of interest. 
peculiar relic it's clear the family grow careless with their celestial gifts recently perhaps i've underestimated you only one way to find out please drink this oh man that's the a variation on take this i suppose i have to unlock the true form of that earring you wear sure i'll just drink random things from strange spirits i don't know seems legit I guess if it gives me something cool, I'm gonna do it. Oh, Equinox Staff. You know, I'm gonna transfer the Equinox Staff to basic attack and be used as a reliable source of damage in defeating enemies. Use your earring as a staff now. Go ahead and test it out by breaking the bamboo wall to the right. Okay. I guess. I'll do it, but not because you told me to. Oh. <laughs> it did literally nothing. I should have foreseen that relic growing feeble from rotting in your oversized yet inferior ear. What do you mean rotting? I was just born like five minutes ago now. Yeah, break. These young crimson bamboo in the forest you should be able to harvest these to use as reinforcement for your staff. Back and harvest ten bamboo bundles and bring them back here. Turn them dainty toothpick into something more respectable out of pity and no other reason. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you don't have any other reasons to be helping me here, weird fox spirit thing. Oh, well, also my strength, blah 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 blah. You provide ten bundles of crimson bamboo. Get the young bamboo, collect ten, ten bamboo in return. Okay. Easy. Okay. Alright. Do a little... Oh, I get bamboo. Oh, good. Resources, which means crafting, perhaps. Alright. Oh, I see. Okay, so we can hit stuff, and then I noticed I glowed for a bit. So can we maybe get, like, a little double jump? Oh, oh wait. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening. Oh. Whoa, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. Cool, it does a little controller rumble with every step that thing takes. That's pretty fun. That's a that's a nice touch. Hey Kenny, how you doing? Let's see, I guess we'll save just in case. Just in case things go real bad here. Yeah, we do get a little, like, double jump thing. Let's pick this random SMB2, uh, turnip. What's well, a forest spirit thing? Oh, I see. That's how we get into verticality. Alright. This will go back over here, huh? wonder if we'll be able to get up to that ledge now, since we can technically bounce off things. We've got plenty of bamboo now, I think. But I'm not gonna go back to the right for a bit. That fox spirit was rude to me. I believe I shall not be going back to it. Let's see, so here's where we first, first, first spawned in, right? And now we can be like, oh, hey, we can get up there now. Neat. Let's see what's up here besides other, uh, lipidus and I guess some stone tablet. <clears throat> okay, moonlight when darkness has eclipsed her, await the teal bud. I think that's uh, that's us. We're the teal bud, sort of. Can go over here? No, that's an invisible wall. Unpassable. All right, I guess we'll go back to the weird fox spirit thing. Be like, hey, here's your here's your dumbass bamboo that you could have done yourself by walking to the left, but no, I'm the one who had to do it. On account of us having big protag energy, I guess. Oh, we didn't get the last one there. Alright, well... Whatever thing just thunderboomed that temple and walked off to the left, I'm sure we don't have to worry about it. Will not, uh, come back to bite us. Hey, clear my request, yeah, huh? Obedient to a fault, like a dull puppy. Yeah, that, we'll call it that. You keep thinking that. <clears throat> because uh, some some use to me in the future for now, give me those bamboo bundles. Yeah, here, fine. As long as you're doing the work. As you're gonna try to forge a new path forward through this blah blah blah, misshapen creatures. Maybe dangerous to go alone. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. But so be it. Alright, you know, same sentiment, I guess. Alright, cool. And now we get the tea kettle. Missing health hold, left trigger will ground to sip tea, I'll sip tea, okay, so healing, right? 
Health will be restored at a slow rate. Striking enemies they stab, you'll siphon the energy from them and brew more tea in your, tea, in your kettle automatically. Automatically, whatever. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Now, got that staff that can do something, huh? Uh, here. Uh, transform, blah, blah, blah. When you attack the enemy, lantern, or projectile, your jump and dash will both be reset. Okay, well, that's a spoiler. I guess we're going to be getting a dash later. Uh, I'm just blowing up, holding down while attacking. It's giving an extra upward force to jump and dash. Uh huh. Hanging any anyway with the staff will fill your tea kettle slightly. Okay. And we just did that one. There's more stuff there that we don't know about. More stuff there we don't know about. And then the options. Okay. Alright. Well, look at this weird chimera of a bird. Uh, previously foreshadowed misshapen creatures. I didn't expect more dialogue so soon. No, I can honestly say I didn't. Um, ignore the incoming family, my unfortunate appendage. Whoa, that's rude. <laughs> this is an entire other half of your shared body, and you're calling it an unfortunate appendage. Oh boy. I don't see able to see beyond this realm, but it is perhaps immediately clear to you that he spouts nothing but nonsense. The vision this way comes. Uh, well dressed rodent. Swing their staff and hit this paper lantern spear, and they begin to glow and be able to jump again and meet her. Yeah, we figured that out already. We already knew about that. Like, that's hardly a, a vision. But we'll do it anyways, because it's probably necessary. Okay, we did it. Alright. Oh, look at that. Look at that convenient gap to the right there. Can we make it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Get another SMB2 turnip. Other stuff's down here. More bamboo, which I'm sure will be required later. Oh no, it's a very slow enemy. I don't know if we'll be able to manage this. Oh, it's dead. Okay, so far the the movement seems pretty crisp and not uh, not egregiously against the player. Again, uh, extra jump by attacking enemies with X ball in the air. Yeah, I know, I knew about that already. I guess these little wisp -a doodle things are going to be some manner of currency. Go this way. Okay. Okay, well, let's see. I mean, there's still... Maybe I'll go back. I don't want to go... Oh, looks kind of evil. We'll, we'll be back. Um, they're feeling like they wanted... Ouchie. They probably wanted me to go this way. Then I'm like, no, oh, man. I want to go... Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's done. <laughs> oh. I probably want to like, clear the opening areas first before we move on. Alright, what was it? Left trigger? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, it cost us 5T to gain, regain one health. Okay. Looks like we get either one or two back the basic bitch enemies there. Okay, I see. So we can kind of hit up and still get our jump and dash reset thing here. That's kind of nice. That doesn't have to be a pogo, right? Hit from any direction does the thing. Okay, what did that say? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's just telling me again, like, hey, you get the extra jump a bit thing again. Got it. Alright, that's pretty easy to chain together. It's not super strict on 
when shit gets hit and when you can use it and all that, so I like that. I like that. Okay, I did that because we got the extra enemies that were up there, right? Any fall damage? Look like there's fall damage. That's also good. Alright. Got whatever was up there, right? That's another little turnip thing. Okay, here's the weird- oh, maybe should bust things open that I don't know about. Okay, well this is definitely a... a fall into the unknown, sort of. Oh! That bamboo is too strong! So clearly we're gonna get, like, more upgrades and shit that allow us to bust through. What's going on on a limb? I'm predicting that right now. Okay. Clearly there's something off that away. Um, do we get like little markers we can toss in here to come back? No. It does mark the save points though, so that's fun. Oh, it's the, the weirdo double bird thing. There's a fox flies freely over gaping canyons, steel petal showers, and awake. Uh-huh. Okay, well what's the button for that? None of my normal buttons do that. Am I gonna learn it down there, probably? Almost certainly. Whee! Whoa! Okay. Uh, blah. Oops, I missed whatever they just said there. You got running off positions of a superior. What do you mean the po what do you mean? This is mine! Fuck you! Mine fair and square. Oh. Well, you- you dropped your tea kettle, you dummy! I was gonna give it- no, I wasn't gonna give it back to you, but, you know. Great. Cool. Uh, especially potent brew to rejuvenate the headline of the beast whose eyeball make an excellent ingredient in tea. Yeah, I do love me some eyeball tea. Um, hurry, I might even share some Well, that's good. Some sort of impenetrable wall. Yeah, it's a slightly different color bamboo. Um, what am I gonna do? I don't know. What am I gonna do? That's a good-ass question. Find an ability or a weapon that can break through it, I bet. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see. A little mushroom friendos that improve our jump. Can we just bounce on it? No, it's like a There we go. Ah, uh, but I don't have like a little dash bit, so I can't get through there just yet. Eh? Eh. Eh. Alright, fine. I guess I'll go the only direction I can, yeah? Not up there. It's all blocked off. Oh. Oh, scary background. Uh, hold on, uh, grounded to sip tea if missing health? Yeah, well, we're not missing health. We are, in fact, at full health. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, Shim Shimeji, Shimeji? Oh. Uh, blessing of the moon coming. Ah, it must be the luckiest Kadama in the land. That's what they are, those Kadamas, right? Hey, fine, it seems to be in a bit of a sticky situation. You know, it's time I came to find a new armor pillow. Haha. <laughs> And joined my flock, and clumsy old me fell down in its pit. Quite know what to do next, and at least have some company. Oh, that's ominous. That's ominous. Oh yeah, hi, sure. Cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I see. Whoa, hey, look at the- whoa, hey, look at you. Wow. 
bonk it up and over. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh ouch. That's fine. Oh. There. Fucking eat it. Weird ghost thing. I noticed there was some combo meter going up in the top left there. I didn't spare a glance at it. There was a close one. You must be stronger than you look to have scared him off. Yeah, I beat the shit out of him with my weird staff thing. You're welcome. Uh, so if I look into it, I could never have gotten rid of that demon if they do. And it seems the computers of the forest grow more restless recently. And the was returned. Ah, it's like, oh, they're adorable. Um, that's beside the point. How can I thank you? I'm going to share some tea. Sure, why not? Did that give me additional tea supplies or something? Is that? That looks like a baseball bat. <laughs> More or less. A bamboo bat. Hold B near objects with a blue glowing circle around them. Aim with L. At least split to bat the objects. Okay. Sick. Alright. Hey, you just find a way to break that blue bamboo wall over there. Hmm. No. Maybe. I don't want to hit the, the, the friendly bug thing. That seems bad. Use your new bat to hit it into the wall. Alright, well, maybe, but can we open this first? Yeah, there we go. What is that? Oh, it's fireworks and fancy stuff. Okay. What was it, B? Old B near a blue magic with aim with blah and... Okay. Oh, there. Oh, I see. You have to hit it up into the air first, and then it appears. Okay. Uh, virtually indestructible. I had no idea they packed such a punch. Well, I'm glad they're indestructible. Me hitting them with a bat isn't gonna do anything. My goodness. Alright. I'm gonna go home now. Thank you. If you ever find yourself in Uzumaki Cave, I find me. I'm gonna show you. See? See? Now there's a friendly creature person thing. Not like that other fox spirit. Oh, nice shot. I don't know what, what hit something there, but... Let's see, so we can really give it something and then go bonk. Okay, looks like it's pretty much a straight shot. No, uh, no gravity affecting it there, but hey, it should be fun. Can move this over, right? Oh, excuse me, buddy. Bonk. Gonna beat the shit out of this weird paper lantern with a gianter eyeball than these. Okay, well, hopefully that was worth it. Bonk. <laughs> I see. I see what they want me to do. Oh, not up there though. Over there first. Oh, did I get it accidentally? Well, sort of. Oh, I see. I, I, I need my dash ability probably to get through there. Alright. To the critical path we go. Oh, I see. Necessarily hit it there. Oh, there you go. Whoops. Enter the cave, procure the eye of the beast, and that old TKL should be yours to keep. No! How about you come with me, huh? No? Alright, fine. Oh, it's uh, literally the literally the cave that the other dude was talking about. He's like, yeah, come visit me in this cave. I'm like, alright, well, I guess we're here. Oh, hey, look at you. Chump. <laughs> um, is there a map here? Okay, so we got upper path and a lower path. Ah, let's see. Ah, I see what's going on. Here we go. Rup, bonk! Okay, yep. I get it. I get it. Because we can intercept it, like, almost immediately. And we get a hot second to do what we will with it. I like that. Oh, 
Oh, teal ore. Uh, what's that? More res more resources. <laughs> One of the close teal in my case had to be imbued with celestial energy, used by skilled blacksmiths to enhance spiritual aura of weapons. Also be ground up into a fine powder and eaten. Well, useful for so many different things. Alright. I'm into that. Oh, hey, look at you, buddy. Didn't even see you there. Very clever. Alright. Uh, I see this lower path over to whatever. Okay, so now we know there's enemies on the ground that we can't see. Whoa, hello. Oh, I totally intentionally opened it up like that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then he's stunned and shit when he's- Oh, ow! Bastard. Oh, and he's on his back. I guess that makes sense, huh? Alright, let him go over here a second. So they're turning. Oh, I kind of missed my chance there. All right, oh, we'll let him come back one more time. I imagine he will, right? Yeah, here he comes. Oh, okay. Right, well, have a little nosh while I while we're waiting for him to come back. we get just a natural double jump at some point, because you can't have a platform without a double jump. You really can't. I mean, you can. It just won't be a very good one. <laughs> Alright, are we headed in the right direction? Yeah, I guess we are. Hmm. Okay, well... Take the gentle path down, don't need to just jump into the unknown. Okay. You eh, most of it. Oh I see. <laughs> Got there anyways. I just want the the money. Presumably this is a currency. I can't imagine it wouldn't be, right? Can't imagine this wouldn't be a currency. So we'll find out. So by the time we get to the first shop thing, we load it. I hope. of some description. What do we got there? Flower with a rabbit-shaped blossom. Uh, that's there when you try to pick it. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, it's been marked on a... On our map as a... as a thing. <laughs> as... It's really a rose, I guess, huh? Okay, well, good to know. Looks like a shop. Uh, shopping tables. Three of them are empty. Oh, well, how about 
then I can steal whatever I want, right? Nobody's going to be around to, to tell me nah. Alright, I guess we shouldn't steal. Stealing would be wrong. Access it right now. Yeah, sort of. Oh yeah, it's just up here. I think, right? Oh no, it's slightly down. Oh, I see. Ha! Ah, secrety secrets. Although the map gave that one away. of the map as we're going to. There's a bit up there. We needed some sort of dash ability or whatever. Oh, we kind of missed that there was a gap there on the left. Ah, well, I'm sure we'll be back to it. We'll probably get some sort of fast travel. Let's just go uh, back and forth between save points or something. Oh, hello. Are you a merchant? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you're kind of all fled from these parts. Well, no, you see, I was just born like 30 minutes ago. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, but a humble traveler involved trips to the bamboo forest, or the rabbit's huts there. Recently abandoned belongings. Oh, so you're a thief. Got it. Um, uh, I'm really, I'm gonna sell treasure to be coveted. May I have them? No! Can't have my eyes. I need these, I think. Um, no. <laughs> You cannot have my eyes. Looks like you got some spare ones in your arm there. Why don't you use those? 50 foxfire from a special gift. More agreeable. Uh, I'm guessing that's what we have 250 of? Uh, yeah, sure. That's fine. What, what does that mean? Oh, uh, prosperity. Okay. Omomori. Uh, well, equip the smaller area tracks nearby, soon to be enemy rewards and resources towards you. Alright, that's cool. I get a free gift of your purchase. Alright, cool. A key. Or, uh, okay. So, charm slots. Charm slots and charms, right? That's that's what we're dealing with. I equip an aura sitting at a shrine, attaching to an aura, you gain a blah 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 blah. Okay, yep. I only attach it to all at a shrine. Shrine horny might be about okay. Yep. All right. Um, and then blah 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 blah. Okay. Hey, look at that. Yeah, I get it. All right. So there's a lot of them we can grab. It looks like maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to ten of them, perhaps we can equip eventually. That'll be fun. All right, you got anything else, maybe? Wealth and prosperity, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, I equipped it, thanks. Oh, but hey, look, this looks dangerous. I'm sure it's fine. Nope. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> okay, so not accessible. But I'm glad we came down here to go buy the thing and not sell our eyeballs to get it. I wonder if it really would let us sell our eyes. Oh yeah, look at that. Now they zoop right into us there. That's fun. Immediately. Oh, 
It's smidgy again. Uh, if I find your way to the Uzumaki Cave. Yeah, dark and gloomy. It's where we survived and thrived, in fact. Here in the <laughs> or my pillow herder. It's customary to give those who have helped us special gifts, and that's why I wanted to give you these for saving me earlier. Feisty Daruma doll named Chomper. Oh, yeah, that's a Daruma, all right. <laughs> Fucking. This chain chomp ass Daruma. Love it. Okay. Um, tap Y to consume T and summon Chomper to dash in a straight line in front of you. Tap Y at any time during the dash to chomp. <laughs> okay. And has to under the Ganama clan. Oh, hey. Charcoal. Inexhaustible charcoal. Well, that's handy. Produce heat while engaged in airborne combat. Start producing heat, start a combo while in the air. Produce more heat the more you attack enemies in the air. Once enough heat is produced, your tea kettle will reach the boiling state. While your tea kettle is boiling, any Dharma summon will gain an eye, temporarily enhancing its ability. Damage dealt by the Dharma also produces heat. That's kind of cool. Alright, so special attacks. Turn my hut deeper into blah blah blah, okay. Couldn't be arsed to animate you walking away, huh? <laughs> it's just the fade to black thing. Ah, that's fine. Um, alright. So what was it? What was Y? And then... Whoa, jeez, that goes fast. Oh, it's 3T. Alright, I see. Oh, ouch. Ah, uh, one of those things now, huh? Alright, now my thing is... Oh, <laughs> it's just totally fucking... Whoa! Oh, ah! Gonna make me, uh... Nice! <laughs> oh! This is kind of cool. Oh, ouch. Alright, I deserve that. Hey, we did it! Bunch of money, or fox, fox fire, I guess. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Alright, so it's, it's currency, more or less, right? Even little shit? Oh, and then that was my last hit, so it put me back. No, oh, I should have saved the thing! <laughs> Alright, well, that'll learn me. That'll learn me. Now, oh, whatever. It's not like it take a long time to get back there. Are they gonna make me do that fight again, I wonder? That wouldn't be so bad. I could use some combat practice. Alright. I'll learn my lesson here. Alright, now once you do a fight, that's it. That's good too. Oh, that thing got away. Uh... Oh. Okay, so I'm probably pretty unlikely to be able to hop my butt through there, huh? Alright. Oh! Alright, how much health do we get back per, per sip here? Just one, yeah? Alright. So we need to grab that blue armapillow thing and get him down here somehow, but we don't have the movement tech required to get past those spikes just yet.
fancy door with a keyhole in it. All right, well, deal with that soon enough, I imagine. Hmm. Okay, well, I imagine we can't get across that just yet. Oh, that probably takes us back. Okay. So we are getting kind of to the point where I expect to fight an actual boss, right? That'll probably be our... an ability lock. Or an ability gain or something, right? Oh, uh, hi! Uh, yeah, I can read that. Um... <laughs> okay. Does that get marked on my map? It does. Okay, it gets a fancy symbol that... I don't know what it means. I if they're just gonna try to pull a tunic thing here and say, Hey, there's a, an entire... There's an entire language you can interpret and, and learn and shit. Like, yeah, that's nice, but... <laughs> um, wait, can we, um... Oh, we can't. Okay. Oh, am I gonna get enough, uh... Alright, do you have contact damage or no? You do. It's of course you do. Alright, fine. I'll deal with you later. Um... I missed my chance to get up there then. That's fine. Oh, well, hello, Shimmy. Uh, I didn't even tell him my name, so how does he know we're Bo? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's in the title and all, but how does he know? Our fellows have all wandered off in your absence. What am I gonna do? They must be so cold and lonely with that blah, 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 blah. Four of them, and they must be somewhere. Please help me find them and bring them back. Uh, do I wanna? <laughs> I don't know if I wanna. Um, we're ready to be scary. Lost four precious blah 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 blah. I'm likely hiding nearby. I return to help restore his peace of mind. Okay, well, what do I get out? I mean, I'll do it maybe because I got nothing else. To See just how nearby they happen to be. Whoa, hello. Ow. Hmm. It's that shiny thing up there. Oh, I it's probably a, a switch that I probably needed to hit a thing into. Oops. Oh, I like it. Probably. Bonk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it's timed. Oh, good. Love time shit. Ah, oh, but we did it anyways. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> okay, we got one. Are you gonna give us a... Uh... No? I see. Okay, so that's what the little squeaky noises are. Got it. Oops. Eh. Eh. 
There, up there. Yay, we did it. <laughs> okay, there's one further on it, yeah. No, 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 did he get... Oh, probably got teleported all the way back because I did dumb, huh? Yeah, there he is. Ah, that's fine. Oh! <laughs> down there. Ah, oh, I can't get there from here. I have to go around. Oh, God for that guy. Oh, no. That jump. Yeah. All right. All four of them. All right, what do you, what do you got for me for for doing that fetch quest? No, I had nothing to do with it. Yes, I had something to do with it. You ding dong. Oh, it's a key. Oh, I see. Probably the key to that door, huh? All right, cool. That's an indicator to go fight a boss. Almost certainly, right? Yeah, that's pretty much what this area was about. Ow. There we go. Ah, good enough. Serviceable. <laughs> save point was down there. I did use that one, yeah? I hope I did. Looks like we got another 
thing I'm doing up there. Can I do anything about that? Uh, doesn't count? Count for hit. Oh, I see. Probably just need to go up and around. Yeah, alright. Serviceable enough. Ow. There. <laughs> it's something. across there, so I imagine we'll get some sort of horizontal movement probably pretty soon. Hey look, it's a bigger version of the Red rolly bits we uh, fought the other time. Oh yeah, look at that. Particularly unmanageable armakillo. All right. Very good. for that. Whoa, look at that shit. Oh, hey, look at you. while he's doing his bit here. Bonk. Oh, careful. Oh, ow. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. Doing the old bouncy screensaver thing. Ah! <laughs> Okay, that's fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll give him a couple freebies, that's fine. Oh, I don't have a, enough tea to unleash the chain shop dharma. Oh, careful. Oh, 
Oh, careful. I think we're invincible whilst we're targeting our rocks and shit, right? Sure, sure seems that way anyways. Ow! Oh, well. Okay, maybe it's not that forgiving. <laughs> Well, your swing is a pretty wide hitbox. You gotta make sure you do it before you come into contact with something. That makes sense. Ow, oh, well. Also, don't get hit by falling rocks. Everybody dies. combo bits going as much as I could there, and I failed. There, that's fine. It's kind of a cool fight. It's easily recognizable phases, like not obnoxiously difficult. Oh! <laughs> and then he starts doing the screensaver bullshit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> uh. hmm. Alright. That's fine. It's, it's good combat practice. I'm okay with this. Phase three here, how oh, same shit, huh? Gotcha. First try. <laughs> Alright, that was a pretty cool boss fight. I like that. Give me the spoils. Uh the eyeball, please. I oh boo, no, never mind, take it back. <laughs> Especially potent tea. Or Oh, I guess just a bunch of stuff, huh? Can I take the shiny horn as a token of my victory? That would be nice, no? Oh, here, careful. Oh, fine. Alright, I bet then we get some ability by two. Oh, hey, you made your dumb lazy ass into the cave, did you? Yeah, well, quickly, I just realized you can drink a bit too, but only a sip. Yeah, alright, sure, I'll just take a drink from a stranger, I guess. No. Okay. 
Okay. Hey, hey, look at that. Dash. Uh, dash forward in the direction you're facing. Cross gaps too far to reach by jumping. Dodge enemies in their attacks. Right trigger. Got it. Every sip of tea, a latent gift will be set free. Now leave me be and go see whether, what else there is to see. Exit is supposed to be the same way you came in. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not new to this whole Metroidvania stuff, alright? I know. We just got a new ability. We're gonna use it to do some stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty not unreasonable distance, too. Yeah, like so. It looks like we get our uh, jump at the end of it, too, which is nice. Can we dash up? No, just left and right. Whee! Oh, careful. Alright, where was the thing which we wanted to do the thing? Probably not down here, right? It's more or less up there. There's also this, which is still on. A linguistic mystery for another time, it seems. jump back immediately after a dash we need if you if you can jump mid dash you'll perform a shine dash oh i see aha uh -huh. oh well <laughs> i see kind of like uh celeste's uh did they call it a hyper dash or something whatever it was it was fun Okay, I can see how that will get very, uh, very panicky very fast, I think. Ow! took the top path to get down there, and then we took the other path to get back. Okay, I, I, I get it. I get it. Alright, so you gonna get- do you have more stuff for me? No. Boo! Ah, uh, but only if you have your, uh, <clears throat> your other jump ready. Otherwise it doesn't work. Whee! Okay, well, that's, um, some extended horizontal movement at the very least, right? Into that. I imagine just when we're on the ground, it's, uh, faster-ish travel. Um... Hold on a second. Because there was this little bit down here with the three empty tables or whatever, right? Oh, offering tables, right. Okay, so we're gonna have to probably put something there eventually. Eventually. That's gonna be key items and such. Ah. Uh. Alright. 
Okay, that. All right. Well, that feels fairly natural. So good job on the at least the basic movement tech here, right? Feels pretty nice, snappy, responsive. Not terrible. <laughs> Something... Something nearby here where we needed the dash. Oh, it's pro oh no, it's over to the top left there. That's right. Be remiss not to go check it out now that we've got the movement tech to do it. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of over here. Oh, yeah. Whee! Hey, look at that. We're through the gap. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, there's something over there, of course. Another turnip. Alright, so you get a very, very tiny vertical movement by just hitting something. If you're not pogoing, though, so don't get very much. That's good to know, I think. That's not one of the rabbit bits. Eh? <clears throat> okay. Well, can't interact with that just yet. Bonk! Nice shot. Dumb idiots. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, it went back there. Boo. Whoop. Alright. Um, no. Back here. There you go. Now, can I, um... I can, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Like that. There we go. Okay, so that's not... That's not too obnoxious, I guess. Oh, we're back up here. Right. I didn't even notice. Whee! <laughs> Undeniably unbelievable. Yeah, I've noticed uh, Toe and Re, right? Or Two and Re, so Two to Re. Uh, so it goes kind of the under Undertale school of uh, sort of word puns here, which is, you know, it's respectable, I guess. Respectable in a loose sense. <laughs> Puns being the lowest form of comedy. <laughs> oh, hey, it's one of these again. Um, alright, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, can, I got it. I understand. Um, do I care about going all the way back? Probably not. There was nothing really in the gaps there that we needed to figure out, right? Oh, hey, Rosu. Oh, your birth has been blessed. Those bright, bright eyes behind your mask have been shielded from the events that transpired before your arrival. Well, I saw a big old thunder boom lightning thing hit that temple, and then weirdo fucking uh, skeletal Godzilla came out of it, so you know, whatever. Um, lastly, the Asagi clan in these bamboo forests. Urge my secluded hut to see if you find my clan wilting in piles of cinder and ash. Well, that sounds not great. They say Tintayana bloom in the wake of tragedy, and you would seem to be living proof. All these folk tales are just stories for children. Yet a tiny teal lotus stands before me in my hour of need. Uh, yeah, I am definitely here because of that to satisfy your need. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, this ritual is peril and uncertainty. Uh, sign me up. 
Probably few from my clan rarely ever left these stores, but it would seem now they were smarter than the ones who remain. Ha 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 Hope Dwindle's here. Perhaps they were the best for me to wilt in my own terms and strum my final arcana as the moon sets in the last night of the Ustagi clan. Well, that's a pretty defeatist attitude if you ask me. But whatever, see ya. Good luck with that. More courageous adventurer than I, yeah. Well, can you do a weird midair dash thing? Probably not. I still hope to hang on to and ask a favor. Hey, yeah, sure. I'll definitely listen now that I'm on this other side. Oh, good arm. Uh, the soggy scroll. All right. Clean my scattered kin. Our homeland may be scarred, but it isn't lost. Not yet. I got to straight beyond this bridge. I know of three. Of course, the magic number three. All right, so we rekindle the spirit of our clan. Mitsuki, the golden hibiscus. Kami, the white magnolia. And Mochi, the black orchid. I, okay, we've got a flower theme going on. I guess that makes sense. I get it. Uh, wouldn't it have been better as the green orchid or something? But ah, that's fine. Um, and then deliver the scroll, persuade them to come back after a crimson forest. Uh -huh. uh, help us rebuild our home and our hope. And finally, take this to help you on your journey. Alright, cool. You're gonna give me free shit. I'm into that. Initiative. Or increases your attack damage when you interrupt your dash with a basic attack. Oh, okay. So like a charge forward hit that does more damage. I get it. Tsukiyomi forever lights your path to us. Alright. Cool. I guess that's probably important and part of the critical path, right? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Find these three things. Golden hibiscus below the shade of the green forest. White magnolia, the icy peaks of the mountains, black orchid shrouded in pink smoke in the burrows. Okay, uh, that tracks pretty much. All right, cool. Thanks, I guess. Um, do I want to equip this other thing? Probably not. I I like having like a an item magnet thing going on here, right? We don't need extra damage, it's fine. Such a bridge, actually. Oh, no map in this area. Wait, why not? But what if I want a map? There we go. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa. Oh, the Dark Order, honor, she waits in no hurry. Five strikes of the candle and reveal her true fury. The path forward shall be yours to take with your ultimate fate shall toss her. Okay, can I have a map, though? I would like a map, please. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Very literal. Oh, and then these things gain height as we go. Okay, you know what? I'm into that. That's pretty fun. Alright, so is this literally tap every candle five times and it's fine? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. I wonder if I had stayed under that, that would have been bad. <laughs> Almost certainly. Uh, oh, well, okay. Oh, ah, oh, 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 excuse me. Ow! Oh, uh, that's the thing, apparently. Oh, it's a thing we can extinguish. Not okay. I can't hit those because they're hittable bits are. Oh well. <laughs> Their hittable bits are away from the uh, hitbox of my staff there. All right. I do like that this doesn't go the Hollow Knight path of relieving you of your money when you die, because that kind of annoyed me about Hollow Knight. Just like, yeah, okay, I get it, I died, thanks. That's fucking insult enough. I don't need to now also lose my money, thank you. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, that's cute. Oh, can I use the, um... 
projectile there to get these out of there. Oh no, those are invincible. Very good. Okay, so it's like very, very light puzzles here. Very light puzzle bits. Leave my platform behind here. Oh well, I don't want. To. Don't just jump off the edge of it either. Like that seems ill-advised. That's ominous. <laughs> okay, what was it? Like, okay, those are things that. So those are barriers, I guess. Oh, nice kappas. <laughs> okay, so they're leaning into. Ouchie! They're leaning into the the folklore, which is fine. Like it's good. It's good to have a theme and lean into it. I'm into that. Ow! And I do like Japanese folklore. It's really actually kind of cool. But oh, all right. Oh, thanks for that, I guess. Oh, excuse me. Ow! Yeah, I see. Bonk. Thank you. Glowy weak point on the back. <laughs> and glowy weak point on the head. Is it jump whilst you're dashing and you get a little? Oh yeah, there we go. I kind of like that. It's like the poor man's shine spark. I'm into that. Ow! Hey, I guess. 
Oh, can I, uh... Here, do a little thing. Here. Like that? No. Oh, I see. That probably opens up so that we hit that. Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Light puzzling with our action platformer. Never mind the obvious question of, uh, who would be going through this area and setting this up like this? Seems really convoluted, but you know what? It's fine. Indian verse and all that. Wondering when this would uh, come about here. Oh, hey, I recognize you from one of the screenshots on Steam. Uh, ha Hashihime. All right, what are we here? Heard a pitter patter of you in the wooden planks of my bridge, and effort. Um, it's not much of a bridge. You got a lot of sections out here, honey. Uh, I thought it was nothing but a rat. I thought, no, no, his footsteps are far too tiny and weak to be a rat. Oh, hey, come on. Fucking burn. Uh, in my utter shock, I saw my precious candle start to extinguish one by one. Well, yeah, that's what happens. Just leave them in the open air like that. Transversion that cannot be forgiven. Oh, scary, I guess. I think even a rat vandal like you may be worthy of my mercy if you answer the following question correctly. Oh, good. Uh, what do you think? Does my bridge look beautiful tonight? Uh, that's a loaded-ass question, but yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, I kind of... All right. Yeah, unwinnable. Unwinnable, <laughs> Like, my bridge doesn't look beautiful every night. I've been alive for not even a single night! Give me a break! Between the lines, you've got a crap. It looks so ugly, I can tell you how truly ugly things can be. Alright, this is gonna be like a, a runaway type shit, right? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. But I want all the monies and shit, so I'm gonna do this like a greedy man. And get all the money. Well, the fire, the flame, the foxfire, is that what it was, right? Oh, that's no good. Excuse me. Uh, uh, oh, bonk. It's fine. Alright, that, that, <laughs> that counted as that section, huh? Excellent. Oh, oopsie. Come on. How oh, can I land on that? All right, very good. Like, the save points don't seem obnoxiously spread out. It's not, like, easy and free, but it's like, they, they expect a little bit out of you, but it's not too terrible, really. Oops, Return is still alive, how unfortunate. I'd almost forgotten about you and your blah blah blah. And you're very busy attending all sorts of bridge-related business. Yeah, business must be booming. I don't know, shall we rattle them off? First, you destroy my candles, you brazenly insult my bridge. I did not. <laughs> Fucking loaded ass question. Uh, you're most unwelcome yesterday were more violent and hey, fair when the candle burns at both ends. I don't know. Okay, lots, lots of water. Ouchie. Alright, 
back off for that one, I guess. Oh, oh. Okay, ouchie. Ouchie again. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, I'm not. Oh, I'm getting <laughs> consumed by that one. Honk. Okay, now comes the lack of checkpoints that I'm probably gonna not be happy about. Oh well. This means you gotta be good. No cheating. No being a subpar gamer. Oh! <laughs> uh. Kurt would love to have rubber banding like this. Excuse me. Okay, thank you. All right, first try. <laughs> All right, that was an interesting little sequence. Not if I'd say fun necessarily, but we got to get more familiar with the movement tech, and that's probably good. You want Foxfire to read a blessing slip from the Tree of Blessings and refill your kettle? Sure. I mean, we got 940 of them. You can overcome any challenge, obstacle, or foe that stands in your way. Learn, try, and evolve your body, soul, and mind, even through the darkest of times. Well, that's very inspiring. It isn't, but it's very inspiring. Alright, is it actual, like, boss battle time here? Yeah, just a warm-up. Anything, your final steps on that bridge and incessant scurrying ends here now? Yeah, bring it on. Okay. Actual fight. 
Oh, ow, hey. Hey. Oh, I see. I'm gonna target the candles on her head there. Cool, except that avoid the fire. Yeah, I get it. I imagine the other two are gonna light up. We'll have like a phase two or a phase three or whatever. That's how these things work. Resilient little candle. Jeez. Okay. I guess the left one took most of the hits before. Hey, thank you. Alright, yeah, called it. <laughs> Is there going to be a phase three? Because uh, this is way more than the standard of three hits in your, your toast, right?
they maybe could have had the number of hits he re required for this and it would have been fine. That's alright. It's not too obnoxious. Oh, could I have been hitting it normally this entire time? Probably. Ah, that's fine. Hey, there we go. We did it! Alright, there's, of course, a phase three. Oh no, less bridge to work with. Oh yeah, I could have been hitting her this entire time. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, look out for the fire! Ah! Ow. Oh, oh, wow, okay, that's got a big AoE to it. Thanks for that. Oh! Where does that put me back? Okay, just to here, that's fine, I guess. Alright, over here, heal up a blip, alright? Ow, hey! You ass? <laughs> Alright, heal up, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you. Ow, hey, gas. <laughs> okay. There. As long as I know that I can. Oh, careful. Ouch. Ouch. No! Ah, oh, if I gotta do this again. Boo! <laughs> All right, well, I know I can hit her in between the little water bit sections, so whatever. Now that I know, I figured it was just like the special bits. You can only use the projectiles to hit her because she's technically in the background. No? Okay. Ah, fine, whatever, it's fine. Like, it makes sense that I would probably just wait to do that on the normal bits anyways, right? That. Easy peasy, right? Oh, I can't use. They don't have a, enough of a thing. Ouchie! Ugh. There. See, that's a lot faster than waiting for the fucking water bits. Avoidance maneuvers here. Ow! Hey. That's going away, you dummy. Oh, God. oh what? Ah, oh, come on. That's a hitbox too, huh? Uh Alright, fine, whatever. We know the score now, it's fine.
Oh, I'll take that one. That's fine. Thanks. Don't stand there. There you go. Good job. Ow. Oh. All right, where am I? Right there. It's fine. Ow. Oh, he spawned it right in front of me. Fuck you, first try. <laughs> I mean, can one tiny rat be- Mean? I'm the one who's mean? You attacked me! No provocation! Uh, get off my bridge. Alright, fine. I'll get off your bridge. Here, give me some money, I guess, and whatever that is. Ah, uh, Pyrocoon! <laughs> Uh, it's even behind the blow fire that deals damage over time. Holding LB and selecting from the dot. Okay, all right. Let's activate someone with Y. Press blah blah blah. Okay, yeah. And whoa, what do we got there? Awakening, huh? Oh, it didn't tell me about that. What? Is, what is that? Where? What? What? No. Oh, there. Oh, it's a it's a resource. Oh, great. Uh, a bottle of magical ink is used to paint in the second eye of a Dharma doll. Dharma and the two eyes will have advanced abilities. Only a skilled craftsman can apply the ink properly. You mean I can't just do it myself? Whoa! Alright. Okay, I get it. So it's like a, yeah, okay. It's an upgraded version of either of these. And size deals more chomp damage. It goes to full size and chomps continuously while dashing. Okay. Pretty strange. Massive AoE. Alright, there's six others. It's gonna be something I hold on to until the end, so I can decide which ones I want to improve. Probably. All right. Well, that was that was an interesting boss fight. Oh shit! The moon's moving real fast. Well, that's no good. Oh hey, look! It's the big stompy boy from before. Oh, it's a blood moon now, or maybe that's the sun. Okay, it's the sun. <laughs> Oh, another one of these, huh? Okay, well that's fun, but I've got nothing for you, presumably. But that's three of them now. One, two, and three down there. Uh, here in the moon, just the coast of Sakura City at sunrise, right on schedule. Okay. I haven't seen it does. It's impossible to know for sure. There's a moment has escaped. Yeah, look at this. Look at this fuckwit. <laughs> Red-headed stranger. Yeah, I would like to know how to communicate with her as well. Um, mysterious language, etc. Realms afar, a stranger with hair vermilion in hue speaks in tongues that are foreign and new. Nigeria City stone symbols lay lost in history. Seek the dragon's wisdom to unravel the mystery. All right, dragon, got it. One in the city archives? How many other dragons are there? Alright, city archives, got it. New quest, additional quest, whatever. Uh, speak to the dragon in the city archives for more info, got it. Beat the shit out of every candle and 
mailbox and whatever else these things are on our way through. Oh, fox spirit again. How does someone like you make it past the bridge? Uh, the first try. That's how someone like me makes it past the bridge. Uh, it's me. Uh, it's a children's tale. I shouldn't be here. The city is not. But, oh, now you've done it. He's coming. I'm sorry, but I must go now. You must leave. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Oh, it's a bunch of, um... Axolotls. That's what it is, right? Oh, oh, gee, oh, I don't like that size of an eyeball. That's, that's an eyeball that's too big. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, that's not creepy. That eyeball was too big. I don't, I don't normally comment on the size of eyeballs that are of ill size, but that one was too big. Um, Alright, what do we have here? Let's go into the city, I guess. Oh, back in our city. Very good. It's still under construction. Speak to the city architect for more info. Alright. The sumo related, related building here. I want to find a little beetle grease. We want a much more temperate climate than a small. Okay, yeah. Alright, oh, I see. Okay. How about this? City archives. Hey, we were told. Whoa! Excuse me. That would put me right off if a statue just turned and looked at me like that. But whatever, let's go in. Let's see. Scroll of this Taihana. Yeah, sure. Celestial blossoms are creatures that hail from well beyond this earth. They are not born, but rather they blossom and become sentient when the ejecta of a kami bless blesses the seed or bud of a flower bearing plant. Okay. It's a common form of kami ejecta to the are born as a kami's tear. It's thought that due to their indirect link with the star of the kami, they are imbued with a tragic purpose and are commonly found wandering areas where a recent tragedy has occurred. Oh, huh, I see. Yeah, this is two natural affinities simultaneously. The first is floral affinity, form which of blah blah blah, takes uh, corresponds to the flower from which it blossoms. And uh, born in a specific flower will often be adorned in a garden made of petals from its blossom flower. Okay. Uh, same affinities as faunal affinity. All right. You know, plant and animal. All right. Uh, the animal-like characteristics that correlate with the local animal population. As you kind of inject it, cools it begins to form a calcified bone-like structure. Ugh, gross. That has a celestial soul. Bone-like structure takes on the head shape of animals and creatures commonly found in the area of blossoming. Okay, that, I guess that tracks. <clears throat> when it blossoms, it receives a gift from the kind in the form of a mystical relic. Okay, our earring thing, right? And it's used in the form of shape-shifting jewelers, it's earrings, necklaces, necklaces, bracelets, and various hair pieces. Uh, some have been spotted wielding everything from parasols to hand fans and mirrors. Some uh, use these relics as weapons and tools, while others simply enjoy shiny objects. All right. So an affinity for various types of tea, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Uh, sunlight is a vital form of nourishment, yada, yada, yada. Adequate supply of sunlight, their lifespan can be pro prolonged indefinitely. Well, that's cool. And also a little weird, but whatever. Scroll the Kitsune. Sure, why not? Uh, the eastern light winds, caress, nice tea fields, Kitsune clan, make their home in the deep in the Midori forest. Uh, blah, 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 Celestial Realm, most Kitsune spend their extraordinarily long lives. Alright, yes, very, very folklore-z, right? Use their wits to befuddle those who wander into a territory with magic and illusion, not much else is known. They put a spell on the force that allows only the truly the pure of hearts. Okay, great. Have you ever seen it raining with the sun eye? It could just be that a fox wedding is taking place. Or a sick-ass rainbow is about to appear. You know, or both, I guess. Roll the Kabuto, ah, yeah, Beatles. Uh, there's a singularly mighty Kabuto clan, a little, uh, little less chosen for the chosen martial art. Flying Kabuto Sumo. <sighs> well, the suspended ring in which you must spend an amount of time inside while keeping your opponents outside of the ring, which gives brood like flying creatures a distinct advantage. Uh, revolving, yada yada yada. <clears throat> the Megumi Mountain Ranges to the west. The climate and elevation make training exceptionally strenuous. Yada yada yada, a harsh climate only makes them stronger competitors. Okay, alright. So foxes, beetles, and, uh, birds of some description, right? Oh, Tengu. Okay, that tracks, that tracks. 
Uh, dark side of the Gumi Mountain is said to be a hidden realm. Hidden entrance to a realm descends far below its surface. Tengu clan. Uh, aerial warriors with heads of a bird, most commonly crow or hawk. They're known for their intelligence, mischievousness, and martial arts abilities. Uh, yada, 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 yada. Although they don't usually meddle in the affairs of beings they consider inferior, they have been known in the past to take on promising individuals as students. All right. As the training methods are known to be especially brutal and rigorous. They rarely seen, uh, rarely seen. They recently they dwindle in numbers even further for reasons unknown. The remaining population are thought to have retreated to their ice-laden caverns buried deep below the Nagumi Mountain Range. Great! Ice physics! Can't wait! Oh wait, the opposite of that. I can wait. Ah, Daichi. Alright. Welcome, don't be shy. Oh, definitely a dragon. Uh, city archives are all the secrets of strange garden and immortalized ink on scrolls. <clears throat> Look at many visitors. Sun burns brightly in Sakura City these days. Uh, people would rather frolic in the sunlight than brood under lamplight amongst such musty old scrolls. I mean, you know, each their own, right? Vermilion Stranger, yeah. Strange language, symbols etched in stone. This tablet fragment behind me, this sounds like an exciting mystery. Expert in many languages, I find it difficult to decode the Vermilion Strange's language with this one tablet fragment alone, right? Okay, so we're looking at probably a Caesar cipher. Uh, I see this tablet fragment being used as decorations by several citizens. Knowledge that they're located in the City Forge, the Tea House, the Dharma Doll Shop, and the Ramen Shop. Okay. Four additional ones. Here they part with the. Part with them with some convincing or perhaps some financial compensation. Okay, great. Good to see that capitalism stains this fine land. Um, to gather all five tablet fragments, please bring them back here for deciphering. <laughs> to enjoy a good deciphering. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's reasonable. Let's grab this one just for grins. Alright. Oops. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, it really didn't like me hitting that button at that time. Alright, yeah, blah blah blah, the various places, okay. A uh, broken piece of a larger tablet the writing on it is foreign and strange. Yeah, English will do that to you. Oh, this very samurai-esque figure. I haven't seen your face around here before. Well, welcome to Sakura City. It's for all tonight, Honor, and welcome to bask in its eternal sunlight, courtesy of our brilliant leader. If you're ready to explore, I would suggest perusing the city archives first. Already done. Uh, but don't go snooping around on the second floor. We destroyed its entrance for a reason. Oh, really? Well, I would like to snoop around on the second floor. Yeah, I see a little turnip friend up there, waiting to be plucked from the ground. Okay. Can I... Oh, it seems like the, uh, sound effects have been suddenly very muted for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Oh, look at this. Look at this little Tanuki fellow right here. Hi, I'm Pony. I'm welcome to Sakura City. Um, okay, so, uh, no. Red Panda, probably not Tanuki. Um, been all over the world to see the majesty of the oceans and the view from the top of the mountain peaks. After my travels, nowhere like Sakura City. Oh, look at this little pupper fella here. Oh, you can pet the dog. Oh, this, that's an adorable animation. Let's do it again. Oh, that's real cute. That is very cute. All right, let's sit down here. You're so small, I bet I could pick you up quite easily. Ah, oh, don't give me that. Like, it's only teasing. All right. I don't keep you any longer. While you're here, pay a visit to the Shrine of the Lilies? Uh, maybe. Why not, I guess. Um, but this does seem like a good time to maybe explore, uh, next time, though. So why don't we do that? I feel like good progress was made, though. What do we have, actually? We've got a thousand spirit buckos, um, a bat, a staff, uh, this scroll thing, one of the five tablets, and a few craftable things, resources, whatever. Uh, we've got two things to wrap up, and two of the eight special attacks, and two of the... Uh, 11, 22... Uh, 32 little uh, charm things. Not bad for one night's work. Um, actually, where's the nearest save point? Did, what was the nearest save point? Will it save if I just exit? 
I guess we'll we'll find out. Let's go out and go back in and see what happens. Okay, it put me back here, but all that's been explored still. Okay, you know what? That's cool. I like that. Um, but we'll call it a touch early tonight, and then resume this next time. This is fun. I like this. This is good style. Pretty tight platforming, and not unreasonable in what it expects out of you, so I, I feel like we'll be having a good time with this throughout. But that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT. Back here with Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus. Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CDT, it'll be Shmup Book Club. Um, our last kick at Ginga Fukei Densetsu Sapphire. Um, Universe is still going as well, and then Ginga Forces are, are also still going. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Friday... Or not Friday. Well, Friday, Saturday, we're off. Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, will be long play, so more Palace Principle 2. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.